hope you're all okay today and if you're not feeling well I hope you feel better very soon. I've got my gorgeous Vincent with me today and his little sister Anne-Marie and she's sitting here with him while he gets changed. She had her, to have her dummy I'm afraid but I'll take it out. There we go sweetheart. You hold on to your dummy. I always worry about losing their dummies. I'm terrible. There you go. You hold on to that for mummy. There we go. And I'm going to change Vincent so that he's twinned up with his sister into this Babadoo outfit. And it's got um, a, like a romper type dungaree. So it hasn't got long legs. And it's like this lovely grey. And it's got the mustard coloured shirt with the dark grey dragonflies I couldn't think of the word there um, and it's got a lovely little pocket in the front it's a really lovely little set it's got a lovely back to it it doesn't kind of cross over or anything it's just as it is and I've got him some little grey socks and some grey and navy shoes and I'm hoping that those will fit him so I'll just pop that there and then we'll get him come on sweetheart you look after his teddy there you go come on darling he's such a gorgeous boy let's just get this and i'll lay him down and hopefully you'll be able to see him all right let's take his hat off <laughs> right let's just back you up a bit because i think you're a bit close to him now let's back you up there we go is that okay? Can you see him all right? That's such a sweetie. Let's take your white socks off, darling. Yeah, um, thank you for all your lovely comments on my video yesterday. I'm glad you enjoyed listening to my childhood memories of the Harvest Festival that we used to have um, at the church. I don't know if they still do that. They might do. But um, yeah, I used to love that as a child. It was a real start to autumn and you knew that fun things were coming up like bonfire night, which was November the 5th. I mean, we never bothered, you're going to look at everybody, darling. We never bothered with Halloween, didn't know anything about it, actually. Um, we never bothered with Halloween, so we didn't have that. But... November the 5th, bonfire night, we used to look forward to that and Dad always used to get us some standard fireworks. Do you remember the advert for that? Light up the skies with standard fireworks. Who remembers that? <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, we used to have some fireworks and we used to have a bonfire in the garden and we used to make up a guy. Have you seen this little boy all right? Let me... See if you need to come down a little bit, then you can see his lovely legs. Look at these beautiful legs. Nice chubby legs. Yeah, Dad always used to get us some fireworks and we used to make a bonfire and I used to love that. And the people next door to us, they used to get some fireworks as well and make a bonfire. And I remember one year that they always used to wait until we'd done our fireworks and then come out and do theirs. And one year, my brother, my younger brother, he was a little devil, he was. He said he wasn't going to let them beat us with the fireworks and the bonfire and everything. And so he got over the fence and set fire to their bonfire. Now, isn't that terrible? <laughs> They came out. They weren't very happy, as you can imagine. He was a devil like that. So, of course, once their bonfire was going, they had to come out and do their fireworks. Otherwise, it was a bit pointless, wasn't it? So, yeah, that's why he did it. Of course, my dad told him off. But you know what boys are like. Just undo this little shirt. So yeah, he was a bit naughty, my younger brother. He he didn't like to be bested by anybody, you know. Right, is this let's just put that down. 
so he used to do that and then my dad said seeing as he'd set fire to next door's bonfire he was gonna do ours so we actually ended up doing it at the same time you know but it was very naughty of him wasn't it Vincent yeah very naughty and then of course it was Christmas which is my just my favorite I absolutely love Christmas so everything to do to all you know to do with autumn and this time of year it's really lovely i i've always loved it because it always leads to so many nice things and the trees look so nice oh, this is going to be a tight fit on you young man what size did i get three months i probably should have got the bigger one never mind i'm sure it'll be fine But yeah, love this time of year. And um, where we lived, there was a place called Finch Hampstead and we actually lived in Finch Hampstead at one time. But Finch Hampstead had this lovely place called The Ridges and it was a lovely big wood. And um, we used to go up there and get conkers and do things, you know, just run around the woods and my dad used to take us so you know I love the colours of the trees and I used to collect the leaves yeah it's a bit snug on him but it's not too bad is it <laughs> he's a chubby boy this one uh, so yeah we used to have a run round and see squirrels and everything you know it was just lovely I just loved everything about it really and it's always held such happy memories for me. Now, are these going to fit you? Or are you going to be too chubby for this as well, young man? Probably should have got the six month size, shouldn't I? <laughs> there we go, sweetie. Just stand him up, see if I can get this over his bottom. I don't think I can, can I? Can I get this over your bottom, chubby? Oh dear, this is a tight fit. He says, Mummy, you should have got me a bigger size. Yeah, this is going to be very tight, but it, it does fit him, but it's very, very snug. Because he is a very chubby baby, aren't you? Look at that tight <laughs> he could have done with a bigger size couldn't he but you know it fits doesn't it it fits where it touches as they say I said, Mum, honestly, you should know I'm a big boy. I think I ordered this before I got him, and I didn't realise he was going to be such a chubster. But I mean, it does fit him, but it is, it doesn't leave a lot of room, if you see what I mean, but it does fit him. <laughs> it's very cute, isn't it, actually? <laughs> Bless him. It would have been better on uh, Joseph, I think, but it does fit. Let's see if his little shoes do. Yep. I had some sad news yesterday. One of my ex-brother-in-laws died. Um, he was my sister Barbara's first husband. Um, and haven't seen him for a long, long time, but of course i always keep up with my sister barbara and my niece annette so annette let me know yesterday that her dad had died so that was very sad for the family there he is 
<laughs> there he is. Let's give your hair a brush. Yeah, very sad for the family because, you know, Annette keeps in touch with her dad, as girls do, and she was with him when he passed. So, yeah, sad news for their family. There we go, young man. He said, that is a bit tight, mummy, but it's all right. So let's sit you back here. There he is, little Miss, Mr. Chubb. <laughs> so there he is in his outfit with his sister. And I hope you enjoyed seeing him and listening to me chat. And I hope you have a good rest of your Saturday. I'm going to go off and make some lunch now. I'm a bit earlier today because I'm hoping to go out this afternoon, perhaps just for a ride, you know, have a look at the autumn colours. Take care and have a lovely rest of the day. Love you, ladies and gentlemen. You're special. Mwah.